Welcome back to Front Page. Uh, well, have you noticed that every morning OpenAI wakes up and actually chooses violence? Or rather, which industry to swallow up next? Last week, it was browsers with Atlas. This week, music and the tremors are actually already being felt from 11 labs to Suno. OpenAI is reportedly building a generative music tool that turns text and audio prompts into full tracks. The kind of product that actually doesn't just compete, it default kills entire startups overnight. That's scary. Well, this is no side project. It's actually a product aimed to live inside ChatGPT and Sora, meaning 1 billion potential users on day one. OpenAI's upcoming music tool will let users, well, add background scores to videos, layer guitar riffs over vocals, create entire tracks from a single line of text. And unlike standalone audio apps, OpenAI's moat is distribution. 11 Labs, Suno, Beat, Oven, .ai and others built products. OpenAI owns the surface where creativity happens. It's actually not just about well-being better, it's about being default. This move fits perfectly into OpenAI's growing product parade. Collaboration tools inside chat GPT agents that can actually build docs and presentations. Atlas, a browser designed around AI intent, custom models for enterprises. And now, music generation. Menlo Ventures' DD Das put it best. He said this. Think early Facebook or Google, when you have distribution, you don't disrupt. You actually absorb the total addressable market or TAM. OpenAI is running the YC Founder Playbook at scale. It's actually building the entire stack of creation. There was a little bit of music and OpenAI back then, sorry. But this isn't just a product war. It's actually a legal war zone. Gemma is suing OpenAI in Munich for, well, unlicensed lyric uh, training. Recording Industry Association of America is suing Suno and Udio for unauthorized training data. Spotify's deals with Sony, Universal, Warner underline how messy licensing really is. So, well, if OpenAI follows its Sora-style opt-out training, it will walk straight into another copyright storm. The only way to scale safely is this, neural fingerprinting for melody detection, watermarking plus royalty tracking, indemnity insurance for enterprise users. Otherwise, every track generated could become a legal booby trap. OpenAI doesn't need to well price aggressively. It just needs to bundle music creation into ChatGPT, making 11 labs and Suno feel like, well, browser plugins in a world where the browser itself got replaced. The pricing pressure, feature commoditization, distribution gravity, well, they may survive as niche layers, but they can't actually win against a platform layer with global scale. Also, this isn't just about music. We see a pattern emerging. Atlas took on Chrome. Sky went after operating system level assistance. Now, music threatens audio startups. Tomorrow could be design, gaming or health. So basically, finally, OpenAI isn't here to actually play in categories. It's here to clearly consume them. 11 Labs taught AI to sing. Suno made it jam. OpenAI just gave it a stage. This isn't about who builds the best product. It's actually about who owns the first pixel of creation. And when that pixel lives inside ChatGPT, well, good luck competing. Please let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you.